Yes, yeah, so the one thing I have come across, obviously, it's no good for the boys or anything like that because it's only seven to eight. It's ten pounds actually. Uh, um, cars, actual jack, and it feels really, really safe. Now my wheels in motion and my windows open with the wind blowing in my head. I'm driving down the highway, gonna do this my way. I can feel it in the air. Here I go. Welcome to today's vlog. Hope you're all okay. Your boys went off to school about quarter past twenty past eight. Absolutely fine, but fortunately the bus has developed an issue again. They got to our house and the engine management light come on and some other light as well. So yes, yeah, so he's asked us if we can pick the boys up this afternoon from school. So yeah, that's absolutely fine. This is another reason why I want to start driving again for. So if anything like this happens in the mornings, at least. I'll be able to take him to school to one of the cars over there. So yeah, my um, new driving license come was it yesterday, day before, and tell you what, it's totally different to my old one. It really is. It seems to be more, um, I want to say like computerised, something like that. It's got more, it seems to have more things on it, and then what my other one did. So we are just crossing the road. The town's quite quiet actually at the minute. So yes, yeah, so, um, um, when I do start, obviously going to have a few refresh lessons. I'm looking for an instructor at the minute and go from there. Seems said about go for my old one. The instructor who got me through my driving test, which I probably will do actually. I just need to wait to see if he's got any spaces and save up a little bit of money first. Because Stephen wants me to have a few refresher lessons first before I go back out because it's been a good while since I drive basically. So, and yeah, I'm not too quite sure which car I drive, where I drive Ben's car or the other car. But Ben's car, it's got the parking sensors and things on it, so that'll probably be easy for me to park. And again, that is technically it's Ben's mobility car, so I am ensure to drive both cars as well anyway, so it's not too bad. But anyway, yeah, so back to today, I'm just heading down to the dentist, got my regular checkup. I don't think there's nothing physically wrong, although when I was brushing my teeth this morning, there's a little hole on my teeth here, so I don't know if it's gonna be that bad enough for a filling or just one of those ones where I keep an eye on it and see how it goes. I'll have to wait and see what the dentist says when I see her in a minute. And and enough to say because it's Friday and do a regular Friday thing with mum and dad. I'm gonna meet them around the town because they say it's pointless me going to do my dentist, then going back to theirs and going back again. So yeah, we need to look on the market as well for the regular Friday jacket potatoes, but I haven't had much luck the last couple of weeks with them, so I know it's getting towards the end of the season and the person who does the stall said quite a lot of them got um, destroyed by the frost and things like that and obviously I might have a bit of a nose in the charity shops as well, see what there is and like, because obviously Sammy Shaw keeps on about Harry Potter and he still wants to rest the films and he also wants the rest of the books as well. He's got one book, the first one, and he seems to enjoy reading that. So yeah, like yesterday, because after teachers were on strike, they actually sat and watched the Harry Potter movies, but then again, they are doing Harry Potter at school, so technically I suppose they were learning away. So yes, I'm almost at the dentist now. Hopefully, fingers crossed they're running on time, because I know this one down here, they can be a bit late, and I'll let you know how I finished when I get out the dentist. Yeah, so just on the market now, you can see their um, the potatoes. These ones are quite tiny. They're best for two, they're three for one pound fifty. Um, got some cauliflowers, they look nice actually. And obviously over here, got your, your fruit, got your um, hey, bacon or big dialer apples there, oranges, pears, small apples there, they look quite nice and big, don't they? Quite juicy. Some limes, some lemons, some little oranges, things, they've also got your pineapples. Okay, I've got some tomatoes down here. <laughs> and there's a shortage of tomatoes, bananas and stuff, so no, I think I'll leave it. 
because I haven't been able to get out potatoes. I've only got some apples still at home, and obviously, still got your veggies down there, your carrots. They've been past it, haven't they? Sweet potatoes, um, a bit of squash, the little courgettes there, could they, aren't they? Sort of beans and stuff. Aubergines, which I know in America they call it something different, and I can't do what they call it. Peppers, so yes, so there's no more fruit and veggies basically, but the stuff I think we really want. So, yeah, so just waiting for mum and dad now. It seems pointless me going around, back around there because by the time I got round, there was time to come back again. So, mum said to me, make sure I don't get cold, but I have got my gloves and I have got my nice big thick coat on as well, so I should be fine. I had a quick look on the market again, there's no jacket potatoes. Um, he said, he when he saw me, goes, You're looking for your jacket, so I said, Yeah. He goes, he said, you did promise about two to three weeks they should be coming back in again. Again, with all the frost and cold weather we had and the lack of rain we had in the summer, it's really affected the crop apparently. So, um, if need be, we want to go shopping to LV tomorrow, get some of the little ones and probably get two or three each of those because, again, they were only 23p each anyway. So, and sometimes you do have to look through it and sometimes they are some big ones. Um, the nice I said to see we should maybe grow our own jacket of potatoes for the summer so probably see if we can get any jacket potato seed I don't know if you can or not actually but anyway yeah like I said at the dentist um, she was running about 20 minutes late because what she was doing was every um, person she was seeing she was taking x-rays of every single person but yeah she wants to fill that little tooth up here was put the little hole in she said she'd rather do it now wait it's little but then rather wait for it to get big and stuff like that and she said to me do i floss my teeth i said no i said just clean my teeth twice a day and she said well, that's probably why i've got this little hole in the tooth because it's actually in the tooth at the side of the tooth and she reckons that's probably it was from where i did floss so she's recommending me to get some dental floss as well so i'll have to have a look see what there is for that but yeah um, so I went with mum and dad, I'd have a quick nosy in the charity shops and see what there is. Because sometimes you can pick up some really, really good things from in here. Yeah. Wow. This one is Asia UK and I have to admit this charity shop here can be quite expensive compared to some of the others. What's that? You've got a, oh, what's that? Bread maker for £35 there. Some little, what's that little audio thing there? That's £12, so you can see. Oh, they're quite some of them. My little baby monitors there for thirty pounds. Might have to show them to Becca, cause I know Becca hasn't got one of these. And also, there's a little night light for twenty-five pounds as well. You got an egg boiler, little travel kettle as well. Oh wow! Can I board the? I like these. These little old tins. Oh, this um, got Oxo tins there. What's that one? Turkish delight tin. They're actually eight pound each. Got Oxo the wheat bix tin there. And look at the corn flakes things. That's quite. Cute. Well, actually cute, but it's nice to see all the old things back in there. Um, I don't know if they're actually worth anything, actually, to be honest with you, but how much is that cornflakes one? Oh, six pounds. The thing is, though, that wouldn't sort cornflakes. <laughs> Not about we buy for Ben. Ben would probably think it's a biscuit bowl or something like that. He probably would do. Got some little cup and saucers in here as well. All the wool. But this is where Mum buys all of her wool from because she's knitting and crocheting loads of baby blankets for Becca. And she done quite a lot of other things as well. She said that was nice. Even Becca buys hers here because she makes all those pom pom mats. So yeah. And what's that got in here? What's that? Yeah. Oh, so it's a kitchen utensil set for fifteen pound. That's different, isn't it? And then obviously got a few things in the window, which are the clothes were actually donated through John Lewis. But yeah. Got some they talking but not bad actually for six pounds especially for being new are they and also got like, some little toys in the window what have they got in here as well all right they're a pound each little figures um power ranges that's actually three pounds for them they look quite good some of these do actually don't they don't they we'll have a look inside and see what there is yeah this is just looking at the baby stuff oh isn't that little cute it's three to six months a little snow suit, can just imagine Becca's little one in that one. How much is that? It is, yeah, six pound. Only problem is, you don't know how big she's going to be. So I'd rather her be here first before we buy this clothes. But I do like that one. That is so, so cute, that little top, isn't it? And that one's actually four pound, not to three months. But the only thing is, because she'd be a summer baby, she might not want 
nothing like that. If it was winter, then probably would have done. But like a little dress here as well. It's, that is actually not to three months, and that's only three pounds. This little pinafore dress. So I feel like, oh, it's pretty. I do like that. It's really pretty. And um, yeah. something like these as well. It's going to be nice actually to go shopping for all the pink stuff. Because normally I just shop obviously for blue for the boys. But yeah, I just imagine she's going to be one spoiled little girl when she's here. Like little, oh look, isn't that cute? Like that one, little Bambi outfit. So yeah, like I said, didn't, she's picked up some really lovely things actually from the charity shops for about 50p, some of them. Yes, yeah, so the one thing I have come across, obviously, it's no good for the boys or anything like that, because it's only seven to eight. It's ten pounds, it's actually uh, um, cars, actual jacket, and it feels really, really sick. Obviously, on the, nothing on the body, but I've got Lightning McQueen on the back, and then obviously you've got like all the little um, things, like the little ones on there, got Lightning McQueen. So yeah, so if your boys are into Dim jiggy into cars. They'd be right, wouldn't they? These have got some little booties up there as well. Yeah, so there's nothing in here really because obviously I had to quick look at the books and there's no Harry Potter stuff in here for Sammy at all. Yes, I've just come into the other charity shop. This is the Catherine House one. And I've just come across this Harry Potter, the eight film collection. Not too quite sure how much it is, hasn't got a price on it. But I know Sammy would really, really love that. Same as got the Goblet of Fire and Press for Raspo ban here. But I can't remember which ones he's actually got. So this might be worth getting this one as well. Because they've got near some um, other ones. Quite a lot of Disney ones here actually. And they're only, to, what, they 50p each? I think these ones are. So that just goes to prove how much they actually are. So I'm going to pick this up, take it to the till and see how much it actually is. But first of all, if I do, I need to check all the discs are in here because sometimes... They didn't necessarily always leave the discs in there as well. Because they've got on the Player Express, No Me and Juliet, Incredibles, Trying to Chocolate Factory, Little Mermaid. And I've got all them. What's this one? Oh, wow. That one is Mr. Um, little Miss. Hey, look, there's no Woolworths. Who can remember Woolworths? <laughs> so, yeah, I've also got here Hero Factory. Mm, I don't believe that. Just check and actually see if they've got any of the Harry Potter books. Oh, here we go. Really lucky for Sammy, aren't I? Oh, they're actually, oh, they're £5 each day. That's actually a first edition, apparently, that one. So, yeah, I didn't really, really want to pay £5 for them, really, to be honest with you. If they had them for, like, 50p, whatever they were, they'd have been fine, but... Yeah, I think I don't know if Harry Potter's just going to be a far passing fantasy for Sammy because obviously he's doing it at school, so yeah, oh well, definitely. Well, the thing about getting that though, actually, to be honest with you, there are things down here, is there? Yeah. Oh, well, that's good. Got a sealed little Blu ray, not quite sure how much that is again because it hasn't got a price on it, so this normally looks 50p and the paperbacks are 70p, unless they're obviously normally got the wall on them. Yeah, so I've got near. Yeah. 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 I just seen him, and he's definitely brings back memories. This is Yay JJ from. Um, hey, hey. I can't think what they are called actually now, but I know Sammy absolutely loved oh, Waverly because I remember Sammy absolutely loved Waverly when he was younger. We shown some footage of him when he was little when he gets all embarrassed we've got mr water news there from um monsters inc is this one oh, this is a good, good, good little baby toy in it this one is as well so oh yeah but not sure sammy's got a troll oh poppy he's already got poppy on her who's this one here oh this is a normal one don't that's anything from the lion king but yeah bless him <laughs> get this for sammy <laughs> for mission of his childhood bless him and you've got some really good little games and stuff, like little baby toys as well. Little piano, little car. This is where Ben's got quite a lot of his trucks from, where we just put me from the charity shops, because obviously he loves them all. Oh, I've got some little game things up there as well. Well, that's good, little kiddie microscope up there. That hasn't got a price. Oh, that one's actually only £3, so yeah. That's some really good things, actually, in here. You pick up some really good deals.
that's one of your things so yeah like i said before um they left sammy give out his orders so oh, can you get me a drink can you get you my tablet so he's got a drink in his tablet here for him as well and also got a drink and obviously ben's got his dvd player but um Steve went to put his dvd player in the car and found the leads broken was was yeah, he yeah it's because you keep pulling it out and then when you leave it on the floor ben dreads on it i don't know what it is um, I told you that last time. I know. So like I said, we've only got the one DVD player anyway because one been had before broke, didn't it? Yeah. So yeah, um, they're, they're quite easy to replace it. It's only the charger that you do it for the car. Yeah, I know, but at least if you can actually buy those chargers. I think you should be able to. You look on Amazon, you should get a few from Amazon. But the actual DVD player works fine itself as well. So yeah, but they were like I said, hopefully they've had good days and stuff today. So we'll find out when they... Um, Come home from school when we pick them up in a bit. Also, we we'll leave a little bit earlier, aren't we? Yeah. Uh, so we can get a parking space just outside school because, again, uh, before when you used to do school pickups, it used to be a nightmare. I'm not too quite sure if it's changed or not, but at least if we park outside the school, we're um, we're not waiting for the buses to come through, will we? Because if you wait for the buses, well, you're there till the bed till about four to four at least. So, Sammy, Daddy's taxes have picked you up from school this afternoon. Yeah. Yeah, haven't they? And the bus blows up. You said because the bus is broken down, hasn't it? So, um, but did they tell your teachers you're pick, um, picking you up? Was picking you up? Yeah. Well, must admit you knew they didn't you anyway because you put in your demand for your sweets. Did you find your juice? Yeah. Yeah. And you found your tablet. That was your free demise, wasn't it? So, but anyway, you, so what's, what's in your bag? you got a swimming certificate, haven't you, sweetheart? So, bless him, yes, he wants to show, he wants to show us when he, um, Dibba Diggy gets home. But you was a good boy, wasn't you? What from your classroom, all by yourself <laughs> to us, didn't you? But then, of course, like I said, Sam is really independent anyway, so, but his teacher did check, see if we got, see if we got there, right? Look, didn't he to us which is good so yeah so apparently Ben's had a really fabulous day today as well and you've been watching La La Land movie or something this afternoon which she enjoyed again we've got this DVD player he's watching Justin's house so when we go out tomorrow I need to make sure it's fully charged because obviously the leaves broken but we have actually managed to get enough Amazon aren't we that's not covered till Tuesday apparently so yeah, so Ben's just tucking into his caramel buttons. Ben, it, Ben, can mummy have one? No, it's just pushing away thinking, no, they're mine, bless him. So yeah, so like I said, don't get used to it. Well, yeah, it's, it's only one off because your bus is broken, that's all. Yeah. It's back to normal next week, isn't it? So. So then guys, that brings Friday's vlog to a close. And yes, it's once again, another week has gone by. Yeah, into this weekend, yeah, we are off to do our shopping tomorrow, yeah, we've got to really, really crack down now on what we buy, um, you know, I just hate it because you always run out of all the niggly bits in between, so you have to go back to the shop again, and, and, then, when, and then when you're in that shop again, you see something else you want, and then you want that, and it's like, oh, it's just like a never ending never ending thing i hate it when we run out of milk we run out of bread it's like as soon as you enter the shop you come out with more than what you went in for not only that having two teenage boys in the house constantly hungry that doesn't help yeah yeah anyway so hopefully howdy's gonna have some fruit and veg in tomorrow because i've been told that a lot of places are still on a bit of a scare isn't they, at the moment yeah, at the and um, <laughs> Fresh, fresh, fresh. Yeah. And then Sunday we're off to our disability group again and uh cheerleading in it this week. Yeah, Ben's new swimming shorts arrived this afternoon, didn't they? So Yeah, they should fit him, they look big enough. They, they? they look really big actually, don't they? Anyway guys, yeah, like the video, comment down below, hit the you know what, and we'll see you tomorrow for Saturday. Bye, Bye. guys.